thought it would be really fun that instead of doing a flip through of a journal that I'm currently working on, that we kind of start from the beginning and do a retrospecticus of my work. Um, so this is the very, very first journal that I ever started on and as you can see it's pretty full. There's a lot of different things going on in this journal uh, and the spine is just definitely groaning under the weight of it all. So this journal was super cheap and it was just one that I picked up on a whim and I thought, mm, I kind of would like to start with the whole kind of art journaling, mixed media, but I don't really know where to go. So I'll just buy myself a cheap journal and we'll see where it takes me. Well, it's taken me on quite a journey, so I thought it would be nice to kind of have a little flip through of the older stuff that I would have done. So, uh, yes, a cover page dedicated by my daughter. So some of these are before the days of realising how to seal your work properly so there has been some damage to them so this was the very first um, one that I ever did I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and copying a lot of them so that was a really good place to start for people is to watch kind of YouTube videos and get some inspiration so what I had to hand was fairly basic materials and a lot of it was left over from my scrapbooking days um, I used to do a lot of scrapbooking, so a lot of the supplies in here are from there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, these were some of these are really old Heidi Swap stencils, uh, kind of masks, uh, and some really old rub-ons. My God, um, these stamps are from Paper Artsy from like forever ago. I'd say I could nearly sell them as vintage on Etsy. They're so old. This was an old Donna Downey. Uh, stick stamp that I had. I thought that was ages ago as well. Wow. Yeah, these are really old. So you can see, like, I mean, even then I was playing with paint and playing with different layers, but using like brads and diamonds and lots of rub ons. I had lots of rub ons left over, some of which were too, too um, old to use, but some of them were okay. There's a seal, wax seal, with my initial. This is more fabric kind of washi tape. Gosh, this stuff is so old. I don't even know if I was gessoing these pages before I did them. I think I might have been, I'm not sure. The bubble wrap with some gold paint on there, can't beat that. Image transfer using some packing tape. I actually quite like this page. It's nice, the butterflies. This is a stamp set, I think. This is a rub-on for sure. These are rub-ons. This was some pattern paper I just had in the background. Actually, I think this was decoupage tissue paper. I'm not sure. I think, yeah, I think so. Ugh. Oh my god. Burlap flowers. Lovely. I don't even know what this is. I don't think I even knew at the time what it was. I think it was scrapbooking stuff or something. I'm not sure. Uh, this page I really like. I like this lady with her cut out face. Um, it's from a magazine. Um, it's where I started to kind of play a little bit and kind of come up with my own ideas. I wasn't really following anybody else's direction. This was kind of my my stuff coming through, so that was kind of fun. It's just a background that's not been finished. So this is where I started with Get Messy, uh, Get Messy Art Journal. I'll put um, a link to the description box below. So we started off with like season, they have different seasons and each season has a theme. So I think I started Season of Brave. Um, so these, these ones here are very much following their prompts and working with their things. So it was really there that I started to kind of grow and start to kind of have peaks of my style and um, even though these books and journals are very different from what I'm doing right now they're still kind of you know there's there's bits that are have followed through definitely the paint the way I apply the paint like I did here with like the credit card that's definitely still me I love this stamp set actually I must dig it out again it's a really old one I don't even know if the name of the company's on it but I must dig it out again because I really like these numbers yeah playing with faces and this is when I really started to kind of get heavy into um, doing my own lettering, my hand lettering designs. I was super into that at the time. Yeah, this was meant to be like a Georgia O'Keeffe style painting. Oh, there's little Karen. 
so cute. So this is all with uh, Get Messy Art Journal. This is all their different seasons. So we were doing working along with prompts from, from that. Uh, this is one of my old ones. See, look, even here, I found poems. You know, I'm kind of obsessed with them right now. Obviously, I have been for quite some time. Yeah, my daughter hates this page. <laughs> she really hates this lady with this face. This was just like a magazine. So, washi tape, of course. Lyrics, yes. Have to have some lyrics. Practicing some more with my hand lettering. Yeah, hand lettering for the win in this book, that's for sure. Yeah, this was one of the first prompts that I wrote for Get Messy Art Journal. Um, I'll definitely put a link for you guys to check them out because it's a really great place to start. It's an awesome community and I made loads of friends from there. I don't have time to participate so much anymore, but they're definitely really, really good. Uh, here comes Pinterest with the stitching um, hand embroidery. More lyrics. I really love to use song lyrics in my in my pages. More texture paste. This page all about India. Okay, this is, this is these are all get messy prompts. This was one as well, I think. Was still sticky. Yeah, I like this. I really like this page. This is one of my favourite pages. Magazine image. Um, and some fabric washi. Oh yeah, my little sassy girls. So these were taken from a... Um, these were copied out of a model from a magazine. Sushi, of course. Yeah, this was me. This was one of my pages. I remember the flowers because I've used these flowers quite a lot. I've used the motifs quite a lot. So there's no harm in going back and looking at your old journals and kind of reusing old things that you might have forgotten about. This is definitely an art journal from Get Messy, I think. I think I ended up towards the end, I started sticking the pages together because the paper was just such poor quality, it really wasn't holding up. This is getting messy as well. So you can see like, you know, kind of the mixed media with the drips and the paint and everything, it's kind of starting to morph into my style. And there is my little girl. I think that's where I stopped, yeah, because the spine just, God, it just wasn't taking any, it wasn't taking any more. As you can see it's really kind of coming away there. I think if I was scared that if I added any more to it, it was going to explode. So that's like my first journal. So there's a lot of things you can learn from looking back in an old journal. Like for example, this spread here, I think I would nearly recreate this spread now, um, but use it in my style uh, now because obviously my style's changed quite a bit. But I really like the idea of having um, the magazine image and having pieces cut out from it. my hand lettering as well I think I might try and revive that so even going back you know we all start somewhere and wherever you are in your journey I don't want you to think that your work is any lesser than someone else's I mean at the beginning it always it's not that it sucks like looking back you might kind of think oh but I think when you look back you can start to see where you're developing the same kind of things and when you're turning to something kind of, you know, again and again and it keeps cropping up, uh, like the way I'm applying my paint or maybe using like my washi tape or anything, then it starts to emerge as your your style. Um, and I know people are so obsessed with what's my style, how do I get a style, and you really just have to, to work at it. I mean, I have, must have like five or six journals filled um, of different sizes and you just 
you need to just find what you're going to again and again and then just kind of work on that because that is what becomes your style I mean using lyrics is something I really love to do even now I still love to do it um, using scrapbook oh this one yeah god I remember this one I, th I won a prize for this one I think what did I win something to do with oh Oh, the name's gone out of my head now. I can't remember. It'll come back to me. But I did win, win something online with this page. I was doing a class, an online class, and I think I posted this picture um, in it, and um, I won a prize. It wasn't a very big prize. It was a small prize. I don't even remember what I won, but I, I know I did win something with it. But like this is um, inspired by... Um, the Daphne du Maurier book, Rebecca, um, and Rebecca um, is a really special story to me. It's one that um, me and my father used to read a lot of Daphne du Maurier books, and I still remember it to this day, and it's a really special memory for me. Uh, so making kind of those kind of things into artwork really inspires me um, and makes this page so much more special. Like I, This page has a lot of meaning to me and I've, I've recreated the page multiple times in different journals so don't be afraid to go back and to redo something that you've already done. Uh, like the stitching in here, I really like that. So that's making me kind of think, oh I want to add more stitching into my books. I mean these journals, this journal must be at least four years old, I think like from the start time that I started, maybe not quite so old towards the end, but definitely at least four years old um, when I started. Um, I mean, even this page, I remember exactly why I made this page, what I was thinking at the time, and what was going on, and why it was so special, um, because it was just, I had a lot of emotion going on at that time, and it was just really nice to just sit down and just create things. So you'll look back when you're when you're looking back at your old journals and you remember you know oh, I was thinking this or I did this because of this and it's a really special it's it, it really is like a diary even if you're not journaling down your deepest thoughts and emotions because it's definitely not something that I particularly like to do but I do remember where I was I do remember why I did it um, I do remember what was going on at the time so it is like a little time capsule to go back um, and look um, at different things and I remember digging out this picture and my little girl, Maya, she thought this was absolutely hilarious that th there was a picture of me um, when I was like pretty much her age, I guess. Uh, probably a little bit younger than she is now. She's eight, but yeah, we, we, she just thought this was hilarious that her mother was a, was a little girl. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's nice to just go back and look. And I think, do I still have, I think she did something. Yeah, she... She wrote out something because I can't. What, what did I do? I think I did a pie chart of different things that made up me, me being me. Um, and she wanted to do one too, so she did. So I, I mean, I have this little time capsule of of her scribbles and her writing from quite a while ago um, that I can keep in here. So it's it's lovely to look back um, and to think. So I don't want you to kind of you know belittle your work at the beginning because it is really important to look back on uh, I mean as you can see my work here is far from perfect and it's so far away from what I do right now I would not sit down and create a page like this anymore um, but that's okay because I've changed I've changed over time I've changed as a person and I think that you grow um, as your journals grow so don't don't give up uh, and don't think that your stuff is rubbish um, or you know it's kind of not as good as someone else's because you're in a different place in your journey and it's said often but you know don't compare your beginning with someone else's middle or end um, it's just not it's just not right so I hope that you enjoyed this little flip through I know I have um, it's really inspiring me to kind of do a series of looking back at the old and recreating it as new again um, just to kind of you know have some some different stuff going on because I kind of feel sometimes we fall into a comfort zone and we just keep doing the same thing over and over so it might be nice to kind of recreate some of these spreads from yesteryear um, into kind of modern ones so I hope that you enjoyed this and we'll talk again soon